likely. Threats against the Jewish community have only increased in the past year. Now, just yesterday, anti-Semitic chalk messages were found at the University of Alabama. Tristan Ruper joins us now. Tristan, you are hearing from students and members of the Jewish community about this. That's right, Sarah, and they're really describing these chalkings as startling and even horrifying. They actually began popping up at the University of Alabama campus on Thursday, and many of them contained what some perceived as threats to the Jewish community. The chalk did come across as kind of a threat that something would happen today. Um, so I know that there was a lot of caution, even leaving the apartment or going to synagogue or anything like that this weekend. Including the chalking, several threats have been made this year against the Jewish community in Alabama. Suspicious packages have had to be removed from Temple property in Birmingham. So what is fueling these anti-Semitic threats and crimes? A lot of it, I think, is just due to fear and ignorance and not knowing at all. Um, and the best way, I think, to combat that is through education. Um, and starting with students is amazing. So we can stop it before those feelings and fears really come to rise. Zoe Wheel is the director of educator engagement for the Alabama Holocaust Education Center and was horrified by the chalk drawings. She hopes the Holocaust Remembrance Day both reminds and educates. What that really means to us is one, to remember the victims, um, the victims of the Holocaust, six million Jews, millions of others that were murdered um, during the Holocaust. And it also reminds us the importance of education and to educate with every generation. The university stressed they have removed the drawings and have initiated an investigation. Reporting on Tuscaloosa, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.